Hi everybody, it's me Legard Lax and I'm also known as Chino and Artie. I'm here going to be talking about simulation controllers and I really, uh, I'm a big fan of certain games that are simulation. And when it comes to simulation, I like to have the best controllers. And so far, games like uh, X3 or X2, they got another X3, Terran Conflict, or Elite Dangerous. Those are great simulation games and you got to have the best simulation controller. Yes, you can use the Xbox 360 controller, the Xbox One controller, or PS3 and uh, PS4 controllers, or the Logic Techs, but you want to have a good, true simulation. And what I got right here are two controllers. And I have this one right here. It's called the, the, the Sidewinder Force Feedback 2. This is an amazing controller. Okay. It features everything what you expect on a 360 controller. As well as the Xbox One. Because it has the Z um, twist. It has uh, the look up and down like a mouse. You got your, your main pull trigger. And 3 and 4 button to 2. Uh, all the, You got so many setup. And you got your thrust right here. And the crazy thing about this is that I bought this for only 20 bucks and it, I gotta say it's a really great controller I gotta show you the setup on it of course I just have to go to uh, the it, it supports fully on uh, what's that called um, on Windows 10 and depending on the game of course certain games uh, most games that has our simulation like Ace Combat it supports it and it's so precise Okay, look at this. It's so, you don't need to configure it. It's really detailed and the way I am thrust, you know, it's perfect. Uh, the slider is from here. So it actually, you can see I can adjust that. That's what's going on. And of course, you got your eight trigger buttons. And I have the digital buttons right there too. The digital is right over here. So you can look up and down. And then the Z rotation is the twist right here. The crazy part about this controller is that it is a true force feedback. It's not a spring analog. It's actually some kind of magnetic because when you're not holding the controller, it gets to that situation of the word limp. So look, look at that. Now it looks like a loose end thing. But when you grip it, look, I'm just going to put my hand right here. It has a sensor and it gets back up. It erects. Yeah, it sounds very bold, but yeah, I'm just saying, look, I put my finger here and it just pulls the back itself. So... Here's an example. Uh, I just have to put this guy, put a sensor down and it just, yeah, it just gets back up. It sensors that you're really gripping it. And then when you're playing games like X3, it, do, 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 the force feedback kicks in. Now, I got this controller, a Logic Tech, and it's a spring, like a usual analog controller. It does not have your looky looky loo. You use your mouse for that. So now with this uh, controller, it has a thruster, it has more buttons than then it's supposed to be, it has 12 buttons triggered and 8 buttons. And then, let me plug this boy in. I... Okay, I gotta get this USB, unplug the, this one and plug this guy. Okay, this is the Logic Attack 3. I bought this at GameStop for $2.99 in clearance. And this one has 11 trigger buttons and is a pure analog. So, and the Z axis is over here. So it's it's it is missing certain elements that I got more comfortable of my my use uh, Microsoft Force feedback. Now this guy is just an analog. It's just shaped uh, to be you know I don't know not a lot of games supports it, but I mean you can play it on first person shooter. I recommend this for a first person shooter if you're into aiming a gun like this, and it feels like it you know. So um, look at this. Uh, it's it doesn't have the twist like you have over here, so you can throttle your way that way. But when I'm gonna switch back, because I, I use I like playing Elite Dangerous, and when I play that game or even X3, I can actually uh, use dual dual uh, controllers. So I can use this as a thruster, and I have a second controller here. That's what's great about it. And these these kind of controllers are becoming obsolete. They're not being supported anymore. Not a lot of games are being available. I don't know why. Uh, there's a lot of games out there that that you know that really is fun to play on games like this, like Ace Combat or um, Mech Warrior. It's great on that too. There's another game. Oh, let me uh, let me zoom back out. And now I'm gonna play X3, and it, it's really amazing how it really works. X3 is a very low cost game, DRM free protection when you get it at GOG.com. I love buying my games there, and now they even have their own. Um, uh, front end uh, Steam style uh, interface, With, uh, and they're also offering, I kid you not, a free copy of MDK just to subscribe for them. A free full version copy of MDK Part One, Murder Dead Kill. I like Part Two, so 
So now I have this game installed. So if I just go to simulator just to, you know, combat test. And I'm playing on this controller and it is so perfect. I can twist. I can feel the force feedback. Put this back on. Look, I'm I'm going to touch it right there. I'm not going to pull it. See, look, it goes limp and then it goes back right there. Now, a pure simulation. And I can twist right here. See? Now the thrust, give it a thrust, now I'm moving, now, now yeah, I have a 5.1 surround sound, so this game does support EAX surround sound, or Dolby Digital, which I prefer more, because you don't need a sound blaster anymore, because every motherboard has its own 6.1, or 7.1, 5.1, etc. And I can feel... I can feel the vibration already shooting on this guy. So, it's amazing. Now, with the Logic Attack 3 does not feature any rumbles. That's why I lost respect for it, but I still have to use it as a thrust member. So, it's really a thrust as a second hand. Now, I with this trigger, I can look up and down without losing my altitude. You know, so I can just aim right there. Look, see, oh no, my aiming is right here. So I got to get back to my configure. And now I can just go back up. Now this control is perfectly um, synced with this game. Now let me quit this game. Let me try another game. Ace Combat. Ace Combat is a great example of another game that uses the Thrustmaster. Uh, I mean, um, Force Feedback 2 Sidewinder. That's what they call it. And it's really fun. I mean, there are Microsoft had made so many great products that are controller wise, and I don't know what's going on. I mean, SciTech makes great controllers too, and I got their steering wheel. I have the R R80 steering wheel. I even have the Microsoft Sidewinder steering wheel with the pedals, which I got for only less than twenty dollars. Of which I recall, I bought it at Goodwill. There's a lot of things you can buy in Goodwill or. Etc. Et I mean, there's so many things. I mean, me, I got, I, I got so many controllers that I use, even a VR or even um, my my Steam controller, and uh, you know, with different motherboards and different processors that I carry, backup, and I even have the power ramp might a ten in one controller, a built-in keyboard, perfectly designed. I mean, here's your space, and I, I already made a review on that, so check it out on my channel. Now, um, now I'm gonna play this game, and it's perfectly. Um, supported um, and also with the graphics card I have is a 1080p gaming graphics card perfectly 1080p on current games today uh, I'm using the R7 370 which is a good budget card but you get the greatest results you can play certain games in 4k if you have see look at that now I'm oh yeah them on then they're telling me to press number three, and I did. Take them out. So, press number one. Firing. Fire. Fire. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm still in the tutorial. But number two. Number two. Number two. Oh. Uh, it's hard to control the game while I'm using the controller, holding this camera. And I can feel the rumble and the crash. And. Of course, this is a, it's not really, it's an arcade style gaming, but there are other games, of course, like, uh, support with that game is, uh, Flight Simulator. I got the 2004 edition, and, um, that's it so far. My next review, will be talking about other Microsoft controllers, like, uh, the, the ones that's released on PC. I even have the, the Xbox, uh, 360, but they released it with, uh, Street Fighter X Tekken, and when I bought that copy, it came with a mat, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? The controller for free. And I'll be explaining more about this Microsoft Sidewinder steering wheel along with the comparison with a, uh, uh, this one's the R80 uh, SciTech. And I don't know whatever happened to SciTech. I remember back in the days, before I end this uh, review, I used to really enjoy Gravis Gamepad. Gravis Gamepad is the original PC controller that only serves you four buttons. And I do have my original Gamepad. And it reminds me of a Neo Geo controller. And this is the same color layout that you look at an Xbox controller. When you flip it upside down, it's almost the same thing. But of course, you can play the controller like this via switches. But 
Um, yeah, I remember Gravis was dominating. It's a Canadian company that dominated the controllers on PC back in the days. And then now, um, Logic, uh, SciTech and Logitech were coming out with USB. When USB came out, that's when it got very, very um, universal. There's so many knockoff Chinese-made. There's uh, like I got a Chinese-made um, main joystick arcade controller right here. And I got to say, it's it's cool, you know. Uh, but you're not gonna get any. You're gonna get the same performance, but it's just sometimes they do break easily. So that's what it is. And yeah, I really thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna be having more further reviews, including the um, the racing games and plus you know the simulation games that I have. I mean, there's other games like uh, uh, let me see, I got too many titles like Starfighter, the stu 3D uh, Studio 3DO, and some other titles that I have um, that supports it. <sighs> Man, I got too many video games to talk about. I even have that one uh, simulation game, Star Lancer, and there was another game that I got to look for that has Bruce Campbell's voice in it in the simulation game. So I thank you guys for watching.